probably a better question for Paul. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, at, the, yeah, I'm at the latter stages of my career, <laughs> but yeah. Maybe for a billion quid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's obviously it's not. Th those players obviously are different ends the scale compared to us, do you know what I mean? That's not something we can uh, walk around and even think about or contemplate happening to us, you know, Mbappe and all them. <laughs> not unlike us, but as I say, it's a, it's a career in football, and if that's what they want to go and do, then. So be it. Like, well, I don't really know what anyone else's business is, and what people choose to do with their own lives is no one else's business. So, fair play to anyone who wants to go and play out there and do whatever you want in life. Um, it's up to you if you want to be. If that's what makes you happy, that's what makes you happy. It's no one else's business. It's great to get a taste of the American culture, though, isn't it? The facilities are phenomenal, absolutely yeah, yeah. phenomenal. He is been did a water boy or what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, who knows? We don't know, do we? But obviously, coming out here and Robin Ryan being American owners and obviously having the back on we do from the American fans through the documentary and things, it's been great to play in front of them. And obviously, you know, you're never known football. Who'd have said five years ago Saudi Arabia would be trying to sign the best players in the world? And, um, you know, no one would have called that. But who knows, in four years, maybe uh, in America, there might be teams trying to sign um, probably the. 2000 and 2001st best players in the world. <laughs> We're lucky. <laughs> Cheers for that as well. Pick me up a bit. There. It was an honest, excitable lady after the LA Galaxy game. That was about it. I missed that actually. I did get told. I missed that. Yeah. But not for me. I was. We'd been in North Carolina probably two hours. I was literally walking along Chapel Hill to go and basically get a drink from a shop and car window goes down and it's super Paul Mullen all over the street. I was like, wow, like, and that was the moment when I was like, ah, maybe what Robin Ryan and everyone else has been telling us is, is true. That's probably the one that'll stick with me. And that was the first moment where I thought, oh, maybe they do know who we are around here then. It's this mind blowing actually, you know, we, we I'm probably speaking for both of us, we both signed knowing the owners, the situation, they were making the documentary and, um, and we knew it would be exciting, but we didn't ever. I never realised how big it would be. How, you know, globally we're in we're in America, and you've got you're walking down San Diego Beach, a bit like what Paul said then, and you've got people stopping you for photos, and and you know it's just it's far beyond what we ever expected. But listen, that's all the noise around the club. On the pitch has been, you know, first season was a bit bit of a disappointment. Second season incredible, and we've just got to go and back that up. As Ben said, we signed and. The day I signed was the day I got told we were doing a documentary and my first thought in that moment was that might be a waste of time. <laughs> Who's going to be so interested in Wrexham? But obviously I'm not the... Um, I don't have the market and expertise of Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, so it's uh, obviously really surprised us how well it's been received, but I think it's been received that way because they've reflected us all truthfully and, you know, it's real life and realness gets reflected and... Everyone who watches the show can relate to it. It's not something that's um, living in mansions, driving around in ridiculous cars and people watching think, oh, look at this. It's just normal people who um, luckily get to play football for a job and they get to follow our stories on a personal level and not just on the field. Yeah, it's amazing to to think that we're making you know so many people happy. And I mean, they would never have expected to come out to America and watch Wrexham play in the games that we're playing and with the, with the crowds that we're getting. So so for, for me, for them to be, you know, fulfilled with that is, brings immense joy, yeah.